Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. If you saw Ruth, remember Kennedy? She was given away. Her, her, her daughter was given, her, her children was given away. And she was crying. Remember the husband? He couldn't do nothing. If he tried to do something, what was going to happen to him? Exactly. This is Moses right here talking. The people were looking at him like, what do you mean, Moses? We walked out of Egypt. What are you talking about? We going back into slavery again with ships. Moses said, wait a minute, by the way the Lord showed me, that's the way you going. Right. Watch this, read. Running out to the block, ready to drop God's word. Ain't nothing you can do will stop us, prophecies in God's word. You got it, ready, read. We got precepts for weeks, only give it what you need. So we are ready to teach you so God blacks. Latinos and Native American Indians that you are the biblical Israelites. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. This is what the Most High God says about you. That you are special people to him. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art in holy people. God said that you are holy people. Meaning you are separate from all these other nations. You so called blacks. Latinos and Native American Indians, you are the biblical Israelites. Right. Read. Unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. We are special people to the Most High God. He chose us to be special to him. Right. Read. Unto himself above all people. So we're above all people. All races of people besides the same as the blacks, the Latinos, and Native American Indians, we are the people of God. Right. Read. That are upon the face of the earth. Now give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Because we're going to show y'all, hey, sister, brother, hey, sister and brother, sister and brother, hey, check this out right quick. I want to show y'all something. I want to show you something. Let me ask you this. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? You're a son of God. Who is your father? Give me numbers 1 and 18 right quick. Who is your father? Is, what do they normally call us right now today? What? That? That's one. What else do they call us? You ever heard of a uh, Negro, African American? Don't they call us that? These are by words that they gave us. Right. But check this out, read. Numbers chapter one, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. So this is Moses. When they came out the, into the wilderness, they, they, got the con they got all the congregation together and they started to separate them. But watch how he separated them, read. And they declared their pedigree after their families by the house of their fathers. So the pedigrees is talking about the bloodlines of the house of their fathers. So whoever your father is, is who you are. Right. Okay, check this out right here. See this sign right here? Where do you see yourself on this side? This side is what God calls us. This side is what the other nation calls us. So whoever you see yourself on this side, American black, so you'll be from the tribe of Judah. Yes, Do you know who else from the tribe of Judah? Jesus Christ himself. Right. So if he was walking around today, he will be, he will, give me Hebrews 7 and 14. He will be what they call us today, African American, nigga. Right. That's what he'll be walking around there. If he was walking today, that's what he'll be known to and be called today. Bring it up. Read. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14. Bring it out. Notice we're reading out the Bible. Read. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Wait a minute. Where did our Lord spring out of? 
Judah. So, if you see yourself on this sign, you from the tribe of Judah. Jesus Christ was from Judah as well. Right. Give me Revelation 1 and 14. Because see, this is what they show us over here. They show us this man right here. Who is this man right here? It's supposed to be Jesus. Well, they've been lying to us for 400 years. We're going to show you the description of what Jesus Christ looked like. Bring it out. They don't never teach us this in the churches. They've been lying to us for a long time. We tired. We tired as a people. Read. Revelations chapter 1 verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Who got woolly hair today? There you go, sis. Bring we got out. woolly hair today. Right. There you go. We got woolly hair today. Right. That's right. Watch this. Read. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Wait a minute. His eyes was a flame of fire. Now, the church teaches. They don't even understand this. What this means by eyes red or fire. Was he, was he shooting out laser beams? Was he shooting out fire out his eyes? We fit to show you. Because these are learned men up here. Right. We study the Bible day in and day out. Right. So nobody wouldn't lie to us no more. Right. Read. Genesis chapter 49 verse 12. Bring it out. His eyes shall be red with wine. Because Christ, what was Christ's first miracle? Turning water into wine. Because he was a moderate drinker. He drank wine. So when we drink wine and we drink moderation, our eyes turn red, sis. Right. Our eyes turn red, bruh. That's right. Why they ain't teaching us this in the church? Bring it out. Read. Revelations chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. So his feet like go to fine brass. As if it burnt, read. As if they burned in a furnace. So understand, sister, brother, as the, as the officer over here showing you that his eye and he was burnt in the furnace. If y'all listening over there on the bus stop, Christ was a so-called black man. He wasn't this so-called white man that we've been portrayed to and lied to today. See, they never teach us none of this. Let's get uh, Deuteronomy 28. Hey, sis, check these pictures out. This is y'all history. This is very important. Y'all can't walk away from this truth. This is true. This is history that they don't teach us. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said if you don't listen to him, if you don't hearken to him, because hearken means to listen. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. All his commandments. Not some, not what we think feel good. Right. All his commandments. Right. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this thing, that all these curses shall come upon thee. Wait a minute, sis. You hear what he said? Bro, you hear what he said? All these curses. Is curses a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. Right. He said, if you don't listen to me, I'm going to send all these bad things to you. Right. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he said these curses gonna overtake us if we don't listen to him. Let's get some of these curses that go come on us if we don't listen to them. I'm gonna show you that we the people of this book. Is this Yes, yes, sis. Read. Verse 16. Watch this. Cursed shall thou be in the city. God said if you don't listen to me, you're gonna be cursed in the city. Who in the ghettos and the slums today? The so-called blacks. Latinos and Native American Indians. Right. We in the ghettos, we curse. Wherever we go, we own a we we living in poverty. Right. We getting robbed. Right. We shooting each other down. Right. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. Look at this, sis. Look at this, bro. Look at this right here. We were picking cotton. We were, exactly, sis. My 
But they don't teach us this. We were the true Israelites. We picked cotton. Read. Uh, give me verse 32. Watch this, sis. Watch this, bro. Listen closely, okay? Because you got to lead by example. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who happened to get the, the so-called white man be given to another people? It was the blacks that was given away. Right. It, was the, it was the Indians. They enslaved us. This don't fit no other nation but us. Read that one more time. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. See that, if you saw Roots, remember Kenzie? She was given away, her, her, her daughter was given, her, her children was given away, right. and she was crying. Right. Remember the husband, he couldn't do nothing. That's right. If he tried to do something, what was gonna happen to him? Exactly. That's right. So the mother, kids, she was crying and crying and crying. Couldn't do nothing. Read. And there shall be no might in thy hand. See that? We ain't had no might to get them back. Right. Do you know that's happening still to this day? Right. Who does that today? CPS. Right. They come and take your children because you done slapped them on the behind for doing right or wrong. That's right. That's why our kids killing kids in the street. Right. Right. Give me verse 68. Watch this. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So Egypt is a, is, is known for the, the word Egypt. It comes from slavery. Egypt just means slavery. Bondage. We're going to get that to show you. We fit to get that to show you. Remember, That's everything right. we go come out is out this Bible. That's it's not right. just our own word. Right. Out, Read. Oh. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. You know? I am the Lord thy God, which brought, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. See what Egypt is known for? Bondage. Yeah. Now watch this. Verse 68 again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee a, into Egypt again with ships. Who went into slavery again with ships? Because when we came out of Egypt at first, how did we come out of Egypt? We walked. Right. We walked out of Egypt. Remember the Red Sea opened up yeah, and we know. walked across? But this time it's saying we're going back into Egypt again with ships. Right. Watch this. Read on. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. This is Moses right here talking. The people was looking at him like, what do you mean, Moses? We walked out of Egypt. What are you talking about? We going back into slavery again with ships. Moses said, wait a minute. By the way the Lord showed me, that's the way you going. Right. Watch this. Read. Thou shall see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your Enemies. Notice it didn't say friends. It said your enemies. Right. Look at this, sis. Does this look like what your friends would do to you? Right we now. stocked on the ships. Like this this act right. like sardines on the ship. This is in the Bible. Right. That that this is what the curse is, because we were disobedient to the most high. Right. Right. He sent these curses on us, sis. He sent these people against us. He said, look, we don't want to get right. We the only people could handle this type of stuff. Right. Because if he didn't do these curses to us, we would think about it. When the so-called white man loses his job, a big corporation job, what he end up doing? <laughs> nah, but when he when he loses everything, yeah. what he normally end up doing when he loses everything? Kill himself. Kill himself. Right. But when we lose everything, what do we do? We make it, sis. Right. We struggle, we try hard. We gonna go out the way. Right. The most high know this. Right. The most high know this, sis. So he had to bring these curses hard on us. Right. Cause we didn't want to listen. <laughs>
to make it so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew, it's how odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's how hard, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.